Hello mga kamatwiz! Welcome to Matwiz TV, our math tutorial made easy. For today's video, we are gonna discuss arithmetic sequence. But before that, let us define what is arithmetic sequence. When we say arithmetic sequence, it is a sequence where each succeeding term is obtained by adding a fixed number. The fixed number is called the common difference which is denoted as t. So the formula that we are going to use in finding the arithmetic sequence is a sub n is equals to a sub 1 plus the quantity n minus 1 multiplied to d. Wherein, our a sub n is the n term or the term that we are going to find. a sub 1 is the first term n is the number of terms in the sequence and d is the common difference let us have your example how are we gonna identify if it is arithmetic sequence or not first what we will do is to check their difference the difference of the succeeding terms say for example two and four what is the difference of two and four if you're gonna subtract two to our 4, the answer is equals to 2. Next term, 4 and 6. 6 minus 4 is equals to 2. And then the next succeeding term, 6 and 8. 8 minus 6 is equals to 2. And then next, 8 and 10. If you're gonna subtract 8, from 10, the answer is 2. Therefore, we can say that our equation or the, the given sequence is arithmetic sequence because they have common difference which is 2. Next, how about number 2? Let us identify if this one is arithmetic sequence or not. By again, getting the difference of the succeeding terms say for example 9 and 6 if you're gonna subtract 9 from 6 the answer is negative 3 next 6 and 3 3 minus 6 is equal to negative 3 and then 3 and 0 we need to subtract 3 from 0 therefore the answer is negative 3 and then we subtract 0 from negative 3 the answer is negative 3 can we say that this one is arithmetic sequence yes because they have common difference which is negative 3 therefore we can say that this one is arithmetic sequence let us have another example now we are gonna identify if the given sequence is an arithmetic sequence or not by getting the succeeding difference the difference of the succeeding terms so what we will do is to subtract 6 minus 2 which is equals to 4 there 18 minus 6 which is equals to 12 and then 54 minus 18 which is equals to 36 do we have common difference as we can see we have 4 12 and 36 do we have common difference there is no common difference therefore we can say that this is not an arithmetic sequence now let us proceed with identifying the n term of arithmetic sequence so as we can see the question here is to determine the 10th term in the sequence 4 6 8 and 10 and so on and so forth so what we will do is to take a look at the formula and to identify the value of a sub n a sub 1 n and d okay so a sub n is equal to a sub 1 plus the quantity of n minus 1 multiplied to our d now let us identify the variable a sub n pertains to the 
n term. So we are looking for the n term of our equation. So as we can see, n term here is the 10th term. So we are looking for the 10th term. Okay? That's why from a sub n, it becomes a sub 10. Because we are looking at the 10th term. Okay? Next is a sub 1. So what is a sub 1? When you say a sub 1, this pertains to the first term of our sequence. And as we can see, the first term of our sequence or a sub 1 is equals to 4. That's why we are going to write here 4. So a sub 1 is equals to 4. Now, how about the value of n? When we say n, this pertains to the number of terms in the sequence. In here, we can say that the value of n is equals to 10 because we are looking for the, the 10th term. That's why in here, a sub n becomes a sub 10. Okay? Don't forget that. And then last but not the least is our d, which is the common difference. So just like I discuss, I've discussed earlier, our common difference is the difference of the succeeding terms. Say for example, in here, we're going to get the succeeding terms or uh, difference of the succeeding terms, which is a sub 1 and a sub 2, or the first term and the second term. So for us to get this, we need to use this formula. a sub 2, or the second term, minus a sub 1, or the first term. So as we can see, a sub 2 is equals to 6. Therefore, we write 6. And then, minus a sub 1, which is equals to 4. If you're gonna subtract 6 and 4, the answer is equals to 2. Therefore, the value of d or the common difference is equals to 2. Now, since we have all the values, what we will do is to substitute it on our formula. So, a sub 10, from a sub n, it becomes a sub 10 is equals to a sub 1 which is equals to 4 plus the quantity n which is 10 minus 1 times d or times 2 and then we are gonna solve it now so in here we already solved the value or the important uh, variable, which is a sub n, becomes a sub 10. a sub 1 becomes 4. n becomes 10. And then 1 is constant. And then d is equal to 2. Now, remember the PEMDAS rule. Okay? PEMDAS. Wherein, we need to start at the parentheses so first we need to subtract 10 and 1 okay because they are inside the parentheses therefore we copy 4 plus 10 minus 1 is equals to 9 multiplied to 2 now do we have exponent no that's why we proceed with the next, which is multiplication. So don't forget the proper way on solving our arithmetic sequence. Okay? It should be in PEMDAS rule. Okay? Now, after you subtract, you need to multiply 9 and 2. Again, we copy. 4 plus 9 times 2 is equals to 18. And then, we're done with uh, multiplication. There is no division. There is an addition. Therefore, we add 4 plus 18 is equals to 22. Therefore, our a sub 10 or the 10th term is equals to 22. Okay. Now, let us have another example. Determine the 16th term in the sequence 3, 6, 9 and so on so we need to find the 16th term but first we need to find the value of the important 
variable, which is a sub n, a sub 1, the value of n, and the value of our d. Okay. So, a sub n, if you're gonna read, it becomes a sub 16 because we are looking for the 16th term. Okay, so this becomes a sub 16. Then a sub 1. When you say a sub 1, this pertains to the first term. Therefore, the first term here is 3 or a sub 1. And then, how about n? Again, so the value of n is equals to 16. Okay, because we are looking for the 16th term. And then, how about the common difference? Just like what I told you before, what we will do is to get the difference of the succeeding terms. So in here, I will just get this, the difference of the first term and the second term so our first term is 6 a sub 2 minus a sub 1 our first term here is 6 so we write 6 and then minus the first term which is equals to 3 therefore 6 minus 3 becomes 3 their common difference is equals to 3 now we are gonna substitute the value of this important variable to our formula. So a sub n becomes a sub 16 is equals to a sub 1 which is the first term which is equals to 3 plus the quantity n is 16 minus 1 multiplied to our common difference which is 3. And then after you substitute it on our formula, we are going to solve it using our PEMDAS. So don't forget our rule again, PEMDAS. Okay, so let's start in solving this one from our parentheses. So what we will do is just to copy 3 plus, we solve inside the parentheses. 16 minus 1 is equals to 15. Don't forget and close it in a parenthesis and then multiply it by 3. We don't have again exponent. We try to solve multiplication. Is equals to 3 plus 15 times 3 is equals to 45. And then since we're done with multiplication, we look for a uh, division, which is, uh, I think there is no addition, uh, division. That's why we proceed with the next, which is addition. So 3 plus 45 is equals to 48. Therefore, our a sub 16 is equals to 48. 